Let us raise our hands together, Sabsati Sat Hamahatu Talenge, that as, as we pray to our Mother Goddess, as we ask for blessings and grace of the Mother Goddess, we give our pledge and commitment to ensure that that Goddess here on earth is respected, revered, and protected. आरति मात तुम्हारी जो जनित गाता मैया प्रेम सहित गाता दास वही है सहज में भक्त वही है सहज में मुक्ति को पाता ओ जय गंगे माता जय गंगे माता मैया जय नदियां सदैव प्रवाहित रहे जल प्रदूषित ना हो जल को बचाने का हर संभव प्रयास करें और सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक 
खाया फेंका खाया फेंका ये जो कल्चर है यूज एंड थ्रो मुझे लगता है कि यूज एंड ग्रो कल्चर के बजाय यूज एंड थ्रो कल्चर जो है ये ना हमारे लिए अच्छा ना हमारी नेचर के लिए अच्छा इसलिए सब संकल्प लेंगे कि कोई भी सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक को अगर प्रयोग करते हैं तो धीरे धीरे बंद करके उसको बंद करें पानी को बचाएंगे पानी को प्रदूषित नहीं करेंगे नदियों को स्वच्छ रखेंगे और इनके किनारों पर या जहां भी हम सबको मौका मिले जगह देखकर पेड़ लगाएं और पेड़ लगे रहें इसका भी प्रयास करें सभी लोग मेरे साथ हाथ खड़े करके वो सारे जवान जो आए सब पीछे उधर सभी लोग हाथ खड़ा कर लेंगे ताकि हम सब लोग मिलकर ये प्रयास करें कि हम सब लोग इन नदियों को आने वाली पीढ़ियों के लिए बच्चों के बच्चे उनके बच्चे फिर उनके बच्चे सबको ये नदियां पानी पिलाती रहें जल पिलाती रहें ये वायु सुगंधित बहती रहे इस सब के लिए छोटा सा प्रयास हम सब मिलकर करना है आप देखिए हमारे आदरणीय मौलाना साहब ने तो दोनों हाथ जोरदार खड़े कर रखे हैं सब मिलकर दोनों हाथों से हम लोग आइए इस संकल्प को शक्ति प्रदान हो प्रभु से प्रार्थना करें भारत माता की गंगा मैया की वंदे हर He was asking about the pollution in Ganga, which usually we try to keep the satsang more for people's individual spiritual paths than for issues of government. But as this is something really that involves all of the individuals, involves all of us, it's it's important because our environment. whether it's our rivers whether it's our mountains whether it's our trees whether it's our soil or our air it's not just about what are others doing the time now is to ask what can i do that's what our world now needs because tragically whether you look at ganga whether you look at yamuna whether you look at the air whether you look at the soil whether you look at climate change this is it's our problem it's a problem sadly and again yeah it manifests in different ways in different places but it's a problem that our lack of understanding our lack of care our our greed our separation between others with whom we share the planet if we had to drink the water into which we dump our trash nobody would do it i mean nobody's going to dump their trash into their own house as well or if you've got a wa- you know if you've got a water tank on your roof that brings you the water from your tap nobody's going to take their household trash and go up to the roof and dump it in their own water tank. Nobody's going to run a sewage line from their toilet up to their own water tank on the rooftop or into their own faucet. I mean, inconceivable. Doesn't matter if you cannot figure out what to do with your sewage, no one would say I know what to do. Let's run it right through so it comes out of my shower, so it comes out of my kitchen sink. Because we understand I would get sick. but the problem is that we are so separate from those who are going to get sick down river that we feel okay doing it if we really had an awareness that it is i who will be sick it is my family who will be sick it is our drinking water i am polluting no one would do it and this is where from a spiritual perspective the work happens i mean here at parmarth nikathan one of the things that 
to me is so special and unique here is the blend, the bridge between logistic and infrastructure and spiritual. So yeah, we go out there with big groups and take them as you were part during our spiritual retreat to actually clean up the banks of Ganga. Yes, we're working with government. Yes, we're preparing white papers for the government. Yes, we're working with all kinds of scientists and experts and doing all of that. And yes, we are deeply, deeply committed to opening people spiritually or to helping people open up spiritually because all of this science and infrastructure and conferences and inventions and innovation are only required because people aren't waking up, are only required because we continue to live in separation. Separation from our natural world, from the fact that nature actually is alive, and separation from those with whom we share the natural world. And so there's, there's a lot of initiatives on both levels. But what's crucial is, until and unless every one of you is part of that initiative, it's not someone else's problem, it's not someone else's job. Whether it's climate change, whether it's Ganga, whether it's the toxicity of our soil, it's every single one of our problems. doesn't mean every one of us is personally responsible for it. But because it's our home. I mean, in your house, let's imagine you're, you know, you invite a friend over and friend sits down on your, your white couch and you go lovingly into the kitchen and you make... Personally, by your own hands, you make your friend a cup of hot tea or a cup of hot coffee and you give it to them and then they spill it on your couch. Okay. And then after spilling it on your couch, they have the audacity to actually get up and walk out of your house. Okay. What are you going to do? Hmm? I'm sorry. You feel badly. Yeah, absolutely. That's how you feel. But what are you going to do? Clean your couch. Yes, exactly. Anybody not going to clean their couch? Anybody going to wait for the friend to come back and clean up their mess? Anybody going to leave the stain there and put up a sign that says, you know, stain left by such and such? Find her, hunt her down, make her come and clean up her mess. Anybody going to go stand outside her side house with a picket sign that says, you know, come back and clean up your mess? You're just, you're going to walk in the kitchen. You're going to get a sponge. You're going to clean it up because, because, not because we're such great people, but because we understand intuitively, it's my couch. It's my couch. I've got to live with it. It's in my house. It's my living room. If I leave the stain on the couch, it's going to smell, it's going to fester, it's going to get, you know, bugs. I'm going to have to sit on that couch that stinks. And so because we understand it's our couch, our living room, we clean it up. If you were at the movies with your friend and she spilled a cup of tea or coffee on her seat at the movies, you might not necessarily take the responsibility of going into the bathroom and getting the sponge and clean it up because you'd think, that's so cello, the cleaning people are going to come in and do it. Right? So that's the distinction. When it's something I identify as mine, when I understand my life is going to be impacted by not cleaning it, I have to live with a smelly couch. I have to live with this big brown stain on a white couch. I'm going to have to live with the ants and the flies and whatnot. We clean it. If it's just the movie theater's couch, I'm not going to do it. Or I might not do it. And this is, this is why it's all of our problem. Because we all live here. 
Whoever did it, is ir- it's irrelevant now. It's been done. Question now is, do you want clean air to breathe? Or do you want to stand outside some government official's house with a picket sign? Do you want clean water? Or do you want to hang up a sign that says it's these guys' fault? Yeah, it would be great if people who made the mess cleaned it up. It would be fantastic. But because they don't, then the question for us becomes we only have two choices. Either we take the responsibility simply because we have to live here. Simply because our children, our grandchildren, those by our blood and those of our world community have to live here. Or we stand around and we put up signs and we hold up picket signs and we, you know, blame those who made the mess. So this is why I say it's, it's not going to work until everyone understands. This is my couch. Whatever I can do, I've got to do it. And, you know, whether it's Gunga, whether it's the entire environment, there actually are things that all of us can do. Every one of us. We may not be able to change the face of industry, but we certainly have power over what we buy. And these days, there's lots of ways to know. Lots of ways to find out which industries, which companies are polluting how much, who engages child labor, who has women in sweatshops, who gives fair wages, who doesn't, who pollutes the earth, who doesn't. There's all kind of indexes that you can find. I mean, I've been in India 21 years and long before I came to India. So going back 25, 30 years. PETA, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, was already producing a booklet. I mean, I remember being a teenager and having a booklet in which I could look at the supermarket of which brand of shampoo was exploiting people in various parts of the world, which brand of shampoo was testing itself on rabbits' eyes and which one wasn't. So in 30 years, and that was long before, the internet. It was certainly long before Google. It was long before smartphones with apps. We can, we, we know these days. We just have to be prepared to be conscious. And the problem is because we are so, so distracted these days, we're so distracted. digitally, social media wise, I mean, all of the stuff that's just constantly beeping and buzzing and dinging and pinging. And, you know, it's so hard to actually stay focused on anything that we've lost, lost any, any semblance of mindfulness. So when we go to the store, we just sort of on autopilot grab a bottle of shampoo, whether it's because it's the same one we've used for 30 years, whether it's because We saw that commercial today, whether it's because the person on the bottle looks really beautiful and looks like someone we'd like to look like, whatever it is, whether it's because it's the cheapest. We make decisions based on things that have nothing to do with actually what matters. And the truth is everything we buy from our shampoo to our clothing to where the cotton or the wool or the silk or the leather that we wear comes from, where the synthetics are produced. Everything we buy has an impact on the world. And so the question that every one of us needs to ask ourselves is, am I prepared to bring that mindfulness in? It's very easy on social media to share things that say, you know, Ganga should be clean and climate change should end and this should be over and this should be better. It's a little bit more work, just attention work, not sweaty work. 
to actually be mindful about what I'm buying, what I'm eating, what I'm wearing. I mean, one very just quick example, you mentioned Ganga. Well, all right. So the single greatest polluter of Ganga are the industries. The single greatest industry that pollutes a Ganga is the tanneries. Well, tanneries produce leather. If we did a poll of all the people who like and share things about clean Ganga, clean Ganga, all the people who go to, you know, rallies about how clean Ganga should be, and we poll how many people have leather car seats, how many people wear leather shoes, how many people have leather handbags, how many people have leather belts. Well, with our rupees, we are literally voting for supporting, putting money in the pockets of the very people who are creating a situation that we're turning around and saying, this should be different. But it's a lot easier to like and share something on Facebook than it is to actually give up my leather car seats or mindfully shop so that I can buy a handbag that suits my needs that's not leather. Ensure that the shoes I'm wearing are not leather. Find, you know, take the extra minute and a half to look around for a pair that's not leather. And that's what's required. And that's why we're so committed to working on both levels, the spiritual level, because that's what awakens people's consciousness. And until that's all awake, then the logistic level. दूसरी बात है मैं आपको बता दूं अभी लॉकडाउन से पहले हमारे यहां पर अंतरराष्ट्रीय योग सप्ताह चल रहा था 80 देशों के लोग यहां पर आए और उन 80 देशों के लोगों को कुछ तो चले गए बाकी यहां थे दो और बड़े कार्यक्रम थे काफी लोग रुक गए इसी बीच में लॉकडाउन हो गया आपको आश्चर्य होगा कई सरकारों ने पत्र भी भेजे कई तो चले गए लेकिन बाकियों ने कहा सच माने यही हमको स्वर्ग लग रहा है हम यहां से जाना नहीं चाहते हैं क्यों आज जब वो गंगा का दर्शन करते हैं जब देखते हैं कि गंगा मुस्करा रही है गंगा खिलखिला रही है लॉकडाउन से पूर्व परमार्थ निकेतन में ऋषिकेश में हम सब मिलकर आरती गाते थे शाम को लेकिन आज गंगा खुद गुनगुना रही है मछलियां नृत्य कर रही हैं कभी-कभी तो मछलियां इतनी बड़ी हो गई लगता है जब छलांग मारती हैं लगता है कि गंगा में भी डॉल्फिन का दर्शन होने लगा है लगता है कि गंगा जी सतयुग की गंगा जी आज बह रही हैं गंगा जी नहीं साक्षात करुणा बह रही हैं भारत के यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री जी ने जब स्वच्छ भारत अभियान शुरू किया मुझे लगता है कि जब दिल से कोई बात कर, की जाती है ईमानदारी से कोई बात की जाती है तो प्रकृति भी सहयोग करती है यह अब स्वच्छ भारत अभियान नहीं बल्कि विश्व स्वच्छता अभियान बन गया है और यह कोरोना तो लगता है कोरोना इज ए एंबेसडर आप मदर नेचर वो तो एक राज राज दूत बन के आया है प्रकृति दूत बन के आया है कुछ हफ्ते के अंदर ही गंगा जी ने दिखा दिया कि मैं आज भी स्वयं को निर्मल कर सकती हूं हमें करना अब इतना ही है कि जो हम करते हैं वो ना करें मां गंगा को प्रदूषित ना करें मां यमुना मां सरयू और अन्य नदियां जितनी भी हैं उनको प्रदूषित ना करें इसके लिए जल शक्ति मंत्रालय ने सरकार ने अद्भुत प्रयास किए हैं और मैंने कई बार उन मीटिंग्स में उस कार्यवाही को पढ़ा भी है बैठा भी हूं और चर्चा भी हुई है आपस में जो अब काम चल रहे हैं मैं आपको बता देना चाहता हूं पूरा विश्व गौरव करेगा कार्य आगे बढ़े हैं जिसका परिणाम आने आने वाले समय में भी दिखने लगेगा मुझे तो यह भी लगता है कि एक इसके लिए 4i 4i प्रोग्राम इंफॉर्मेशन Inspiration, Innovation and Implementation सरकार इन्फॉर्म करे संत इंस्पायर करें और सभी युवा वैज्ञानिक इंजीनियर इनोवेट करें नए नए रास्ते तलाश करें 
पूरा समाज एवं सारी संस्थाएं और सभी संत मिलकर इसको इम्प्लीमेंट भी करें समयबद्ध प्लान हो टाइम प्लान हो टीम प्लान हो ग्रैंड प्लान हो और ग्राउंड प्लान बने कोरोना आज मैंने कहा कि एक राजदूत बन के आया है मुझे लगता है इस कोरोना ने बहुत कुछ बदला है और बहुत कुछ बदलेगा सबसे पहले तो हमें अपने लाइफ को बदलना होगा स्वयं को बदलना होगा यूज़ एंड थ्रो के कल्चर से यूज़ एंड ग्रो कल्चर की ओर जाना होगा ग्रीन कल्चर की ओर जाना होगा गो ग्रीन और ऑर्गेनिक गो ऑर्गेनिक के कल्चर में जाना होगा ये 2020 में हमें विजन 2020 को लाना होगा